Shalom. February 14th, 2024. God's blessing me like never before with great expectations and open doors. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory and leaving the dragon dead on the beach. In Jesus' name, it's about 7.20 a.m. this morning. I'm just going to read a few scriptures out loud to start my day. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lion of Judah, roaring and restoring. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. I'm doing communion. Happy Valentine's Day this morning. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just going to read a few scriptures out loud. <clears throat> Do not recall, <clears throat> do not recall, wait, <laughs> do not recall what happened of old or ponder what happened of yore. Keep your expectations high. Amen, somebody. Mm. Do not recall what happened of old or ponder what happened of yore. Reading from the Safaria. Do not recall what happened of old in the past or ponder what happened of yore in the past. Keep your expectations high for the future. Amen, somebody. Um. Forget about what happened last time when you came to God and God gave you that vision of John 16, 2 that came down to the ceiling written on a glory cloud. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be different this time. It's going to be different this time. Do not recall what happened last time. <clears throat> it's going to be different this time. God's about to do something new. Amen, somebody. Do not recall what happened last time in the past. God's getting ready to do something new. He's going to do a new thing. Even now, it's coming to pass right now. It says, even right now, it's coming to pass. Suddenly, you shall perceive it. You shall perceive it and receive it. I will make a road through the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Mm. God makes roads in the wilderness and he directs our path for his sake. He directs our path for his sake, not for our sake. <laughs> and rivers in the desert, rivers in dry ground, even the wild beasts shall honor God, even the jackals and the ostriches in Australia will honor God. For I provide water in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people. God's gonna bring drink. We're gonna drink the word and we're gonna drink in expectations and we're gonna reject what happened in the past and deferred hope. We're gonna reject deferred hope and drink in rivers of living water in the desert for God's chosen people the people that he formed for himself, that they might declare his praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord, and I thank you for the blood. But he said to Jacob, but he said to Jacob, but he said to Jacob, um, so funny. He said to Jacob, um, 
He said to Jacob, you have not worshipped me, Jacob. He says, why are you weary of me, Israel? Jacob was weary. He was weary. Maybe he had hope deferred. And um, maybe he had hope deferred. He was weary and well-doing. The Bible says, don't be weary and well-doing. But Jacob got weary. And God said, Jacob, why are you weary of me? He says, you haven't been worshiping me lately. So God told Jacob, he said, Jacob, he said, why are you weary of me? Why haven't you been worshiping me lately? He says, you have not brought me your sheep for burnt offerings. He says, nor honored me with your sacrifices. Hey, babe. Wow, that's a problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hold on a second. Hmm. I told okay. Jacob. She's, well, I know I miss um, Hannah's going to be coming in and she's going to. I told Jacob, room. you have not worshipped me. You've been yeah. weary of me. You've been, just a second, you've been weary of me, Israel. And you've not, you've not brought me your sacrifices. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I'll see. I'll see it to see it. Oh, you don't have to say nothing. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'll see you. I'll, I'll see I'll see you at the restaurant at three thirty. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, God told Jacob, he says, You have not worshipped me, Jacob. You've been weary of me. He said, You haven't brought me your, your offerings. You haven't honored me with your sacrifices. And you have not burnt and I have not burnt. He says, I have not burdened you with grain offerings, nor wearied you with frankincense. <clears throat> so Jacob was uh, in a season where, I don't know, maybe he was in deferred hope or something. He said, God said to Jacob, you have not brought me fragrant reed with money. See, when people try to tell you that you don't have to give your tithe offerings right here in, in the word of God, it says, you have not brought me fragrant reed with money. See, God was telling Jacob that you hadn't given me any money lately. He says, nor sated me with the fat of your sacrifices. Instead, you have burdened me with your sins and you have wearied me with your iniquities. He's talking to Jacob, Israel. Jacob, Israel, sounds like he was backsliding. He was sinning. He was wearying God with his iniquities. He wasn't um, worshiping God. He was weary. He was weary and well-doing. He wasn't giving his offerings or his sacrifices. He wasn't um, giving God his money or his tithes. And he was living in sin and iniquities. This is God talking to Jacob. And he says, It is I, I who for my own sake wipe away your transgressions and remember your sins no more. God, God said, You're not worshiping me. You're not giving me your tithes and offerings and sacrifices. And um, he says, but don't worry, it is I who for my own sake will wipe away your transgressions and sins, and I'll remember your sins no more and throw them into the sea of forgetfulness. Amen. Even though God was rebuking Jacob because he was sinning and he wasn't 
worshiping God and he wasn't giving his tithes and offerings like he usually did. God said, it's okay. I'm going to wipe away your sins for my own sake so that my holy name will not be profaned. And then he says, help me remember. Help me remember. <laughs> Let us join in argument. Tell your version that you may be vindicated. He said, your earliest ancestor sinned. So even Abraham sinned. And your spokesman transgressed me. So I profaned the holy princes and I abandoned Jacob to proscription and Israel to mockery. Even though they sinned, God washed away their sins. He wiped away their transgressions and remembered their sins no more for his own holy name's sake. But he said, because they sinned, he abandoned them to proscription and to mockery. But hear now, O Jacob, my servant Israel, whom I have chosen. See, God, he's still chosen, even though he's in a state of sinning and backsliding and being rebuked by God. He's still chosen. He's still a chosen one. God says, but hear now, O Jacob, my servant, whom I have chosen. God's gifts and callings are without repentance. Thus says God, your maker, your creator, who has helped you since birth. Fear not, my servant Jacob, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, even as I pour water on thirsty soil and rain upon dry ground. Feel the Holy Ghost. So will I pour my spirit on you and your offspring and my blessings upon your posterity. Hmm. Even though he was sinning, you God still called him his chosen one. And he said, fear not, fear not my servant. Even when he was sinning, he still called him chosen. Whew. Still called him servant. Mm. He said, I'm going to pour water on your thirsty soil. Because he knew he was dry. And um, he needed some fresh oil and some fresh fire for that new end time glory revival. <laughs> and um, sometimes even God's chosen ones get dry and thirsty like a desert. And then God has to pour out some living water on their thirsty soil and rain holy water upon their dry ground. So then God says, I will pour my spirit out on you and I will pour my blessings upon you. No matter what you're going through, you got to keep your expectations. Keep your expectations and don't get deferred hope. Mm. Holy Ghost is thick up in here right now. Whew. Even when you're dry, like Jacob was, and it feels like the devil's stealing your praise and your worship. You're not giving your money. God says, don't worry. You're still my chosen one. You're still my servant. I'm getting ready to refresh you with new fresh oil and new fresh fire. And I'm going to pour my water on your thirsty soil and rain on your dry ground. I'm going to make rivers in the desert and paths in the wilderness and make a way where there is no way. I'm going to give you my blessings and even pour my spirit on you. And they shall sprout like grass, like willows of water courses. One shall say, I am God's. Another shall use the name of Jacob. Another shall mark his arm with a tattoo that says, 
I'm of God, and another shall adopt the name of Israel. Thus says God, the sovereign God of Israel, their Redeemer, the God of hosts. I am the first, and I am the last, and there is no other God but me. Who like me can announce it and foretell it and prophesy it? Who else can prophesy like God? Nobody. Even as I told you the future to an ancient people, so let anyone foretell coming events to them. Do not be frightened. Do not be shaken. <clears throat> I have not from of old predicted to you. Have I not from of old predicted to you? I foretold, and you are my witnesses. God prophesied everything in his word is taking place now and forever. I foretold you everything, and you are my witnesses. You've seen me in words and visions. Is there any other God than me? There is no other. I am the only true and living God. There's no one else. The makers of idols all work to no purpose. And the things they treasure, they can do them no good. As they themselves can easily testify, they neither look nor think, and so they shall be ashamed. Who would fashion a god or cast a statue that can do no good? Lo, it is all adherence and shall be shamed. They are craftsmen and they are merely human. Let them all assemble and stand up. They shall be cowed and they shall be ashamed. I'm going to skip some of this part about the idols. Everybody knows you're not to worship idols. Remember these things, O Jacob. Remember these things that I've just taught you and said to you, says the Lord. Remember how dry you were. Remember how you had stopped worshiping me. Remember how you start, stopped giving your tithe and offerings and you were ready to quit and give up. And then I came to you and washed away all your sins and poured water on you and refreshed your soul and set you on fire again for the end time revival. Remember these things, Jacob. You are my servant. Whew. Wrecked. Holy Ghost is in here so strong right now. I fashioned you and you are my servant. Never forget it. I wipe away all your tears. I wipe away all your tears of joy in my presence. I wipe away all your sins and your transgressions like a mist. Just come back to me now, for I redeem you. Come back to God now, he says. Shout, O heavens, for God has acted. Shout aloud, O depths of the earth. Shout for joy. O mountains, O forest, with all your trees, for God has redeemed Jacob. God, rede God redeemed Jacob from all his sins, and he has gained glory through Israel. Thus says God, your Redeemer, who formed you in the womb, it is I. It is I, God, who made everything. I alone stretched out the heavens. I alone spread out the earth. Whew. Confirm the word of my servant and fulfill the prediction of my messengers. It is I who say of Jerusalem, it shall be inhabited. And all the towns of Judah, they shall be rebuilt. And I will restore their ruined places. God is going to restore Israel. He's roaring and restoring. He says, I will restore their ruined places. It is I who said to the deep, be dry. I will dry up your floods 
and the same who says of Cyrus, He is my shepherd. He shall fulfill all my purposes. He shall say of Jerusalem, She shall be rebuilt. And to the temple, You shall be founded again. Cyrus was the one that, King Cyrus was the one that God used to rebuild Jerusalem and rebuild the temple. So do not recall the things that happened in the past. Do not ponder on how it went the first time because God's doing a new thing and it's springing forth right now. I'm about to do something new. Even now it comes to pass. Suddenly you shall perceive it. I will make a road through the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And do all things without murmuring and complaining, that you may be blameless and harmful, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, in a crooked and perverted world, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of God, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run this race in vain. I don't want to run this race in vain, Lord. David said, whatever you do, <clears throat> don't take your Holy Spirit. <clears throat> 